Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading from the 1st to the 7th of June 2020 for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. <clears throat> I hope you're well Aries. So let's pull an overarching tarot card to see what the message for the week is. Now bear in mind I am a little late on these readings because I've had a few days off so let's see what we have. 1st to the 7th of June, uh, Angel Spirits Guides for Aries. Okay. We have Justice, card of Libra. So I'll pop that there for now, Aries. We'll come back to it. I'll just get the cards on the table. What do we have for Aries, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for... Okay. Oh, gosh. Justice and Victory. Wow. Beautiful. Okay, angels, what is the message for Aries? 1st to the 7th of June, 2020. How lovely Aries, what do we have? I love this with justice, improving health. I don't feel that's just limited to health, illness either. I think this is improving health in all aspects. Very much think with that justice card, beautiful energy. What do we have, please? <clears throat> if you believe. Beautiful, okay. So Aries, as usual, I pull four cards and then we get clarifiers to go deeper into the message. I'm using Classic Rider Waite and also the Radiant Spirit Wise deck to clarify today. Then we'll finish off with the Animal Oracle Spirit cards. Or Animal, animal Spirit Oracle cards. <laughs> okay, what do we have for Aries, please? So four cards. The first card is you. Second card is your challenge. Third card is advice from spirit. Fourth card is your outcome. So you, we have the strength card, card of Leo. We have the seven of wands, which is your challenge. Again, this is Leo energy. Leo again. Wow, king of wands. It's either... We've got Libra and Leo at the moment, Aries. So there could be a Leo or a Libra in your life. Sometimes it can be adopting, you are adopting the energy of the sign as well. And your outcome, we have the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so let's get clarifiers. What do we have for Aries, please? Our lovely Aries. <clears throat> First to the 7th of June, 2020. Can we clarify the cards on the table, please, Angel Spirits Guides? <clears throat> I am suffering from allergies at the moment, so bear with me. <clears throat> what do we have for Aries, please? Two, oh gosh, we've got Justice again. And the Nine of Pentacles. I like that. Okay. Oh my goodness, Aries, your challenge. We've got the sun, beautiful. Again, Leo energy here. We have the Queen of Cups and uh, clarifying the King of Wands. This is card of Cancer. And the Four of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles. And I'm going to pull one more for that one. Page of Wands. We have the Hanged Man. Okay. Okay. So, Aries, we have Justice here. So, Justice holds the Sword of Truth. So, there's a kind of mes message that when Justice appears, it is stand in the light of truth or you are standing in the light of truth truth is on your side it is a karmic card you have two justices here you know when this appears aries i do feel some of you have been through 
you know, when this is reversed, it can mean an injustice. It can mean having been poorly treated in some way as well. And I am feeling that a little bit with two justices appearing because this is the universe. I mean, the sun is the universe saying this is you reaping the rewards of your efforts, your hard work. And I do feel some of you are absolutely on track this week to do that. You're going in the right direction. Um, yeah. Now, this can also mean if you've had issues with legal, the legal system, government departments, then there could be a just and fair decision, could be from an arbiter or a judge, that is made in the light of truth that restores balance and harmony, allows you to move forward, open a new door. Uh, this is the Reap What You Sow card, and I'm just feeling with the energies here on the table, you have been working hard to change your situation for the better. Now, I'm kind of leaning more towards money, career, Aries for this, with the cards on the table. I do feel that you are slowly but surely working hard and coming through a difficult time. And this is karma, reaping what you sow, being guided by the universe, standing in the light of truth. It's an absolutely beautiful energy. It is also how you're restoring balance in your life, maybe in terms of slowly but surely getting to the place of restoring balance in your financial situation or your career as well. Because we have a victory here. Now, interesting, this victory card, and generally the cards in tarot, mean that there's a victory internally as well as externally. You're coming through a difficult period in your life, having conquered your own internal issues and overcome any external challenges in your external environment. It's a beautiful energy of victory, success is on your side. It's almost kind of like you will reap what you'll sow, you are going in the right direction, you will get victory and success here. And it might come after you've been through a period of injustice of some kind or been treated poorly uh, or hard done to in some way. You, the key is you have to believe. That's what the angels are saying. If you really truly believe and commit to that you can change, that you can read what you're so in a positive way, that your actions have positive consequences, that's when things start to improve. Now, I think this can be improving health in terms of finances. It can also be recovering, maybe, physically. Um, you know, certainly in terms of lockdown, a lot of people have been doing their own home exercising, haven't they? So, you know, it could be a bit of this as well, Aries. I just feel it is slow, but surely you're trying to get your life back on track in every area of your life. And you're heading in the right direction towards the victory and success, I feel. It's a beautiful, beautiful energy. Because, my goodness, it has taken strength and courage and bravery to overcome whatever challenge you have faced. But this is you and your power. Remember, the strength card is where, when you connect to your own individual strengths, and remember, this is a mastery from within as well. The strength card is how we master our own internal fears, doubts, concerns, negativities. And that allows us to conquer anything in our external environment. Read what you sow, cause and effect. So there's a beautiful energy here of, you know, this is firepower as well, remember? Just finding that firepower to get yourself back on track. And I do feel it's towards getting back on your feet in terms of money, career, success. You know, the Nine of Pentacles is a Virgo energy as well. So I do feel this is improving health as well for some of you. Yeah, it has, to, it has taken a lot of hard work. Uh, some of you may have been poorly as well. It might well be something has made you poorly. Some injustice has made you poorly, has really preyed on your health. Could be your mind as well, because the strength card can be linked to our thoughts, our internal fears, our mind. This is mastery over our thoughts. So I do feel for some of you that you have really overcome any internal challenge and are in the process of overcoming any external challenges or fears that you have in order to stand in your own success, stand in your own solidity, security, uh, recover. I mean, this is about reaching your potential as well, the Nine of Pentacles, the material side of things in your earthly level. So it is, I mean, the Pentacles energy is about our conscious reality. So the Nine of Pentacles can be linked to our health. 
It can also be linked to our money and our career as well, getting back on your feet. Might well be if you've started a business venture, the Nine of Pentacles is a great omen of you're on track, you're going to reap what you sow in terms of success, there will be a victory here. Um, and it's taken a lot of strength and bravery. Now, this can also be a card of the entrepreneur. It can be a card of just getting on your back on your feet in terms of money and career as well, if, if you've been searching for jobs. Either way, I just think that, yeah, you're absolutely on track to reap the rewards of your efforts, Aries. Yeah. I mean, this is nice as well, because again, we have Leo, Mars and Leo. Now, Mars is your ruler. So it is how you've taken the initiative. This is somebody who is not defeatist. They face a challenge. They're six people against one person. And yet this one person, because they're in their power, because they've connected to their strength, their inner strength, overcome their inner fears, and it's taken a lot of bravery. They are on higher ground than those that oppose them. So I feel this can be as much about as your internal energy, as much or as much as as it, as, it, as it is about your external environment, Aries. It's a beautiful energy of overcoming a challenge. There's perseverance and patience that's needed still. Um, you have to stay determined. You know, you are on track. But, you know, with the sun coming out, you are absolutely going in the right direction. Um, and there's a kind of message here that if you persevere, if you keep at it, if you keep on putting in the effort and following your passions and keep those, I want to say flames of, of passion, of energy, of drive around you, you will be able to put something behind you. You know, the wall is what the child and the horse come through. Whatever this challenge has been that you've needed strength and bravery for, and I feel it's been to do with primarily either your health or it's been to do with your money and career. This is you overcoming it and putting the challenge behind you and everything becoming clear in terms of how to move forward, the direction that you're taking. You're on track. You know, the sun is divine energy shining on you. You are absolutely on track, but this is your challenge to stay on track, to persevere, to overcome the challenge. <clears throat> um, because this is a promise that you will be successful. <clears throat> Sorry. The sunflowers represent abundance coming your way as well. So again, I just feel when the sun comes out, everything starts to feel good. It's a great energy of restore restoration as well. So it can be in terms of health. It can also be in terms of money and finances for me with this reading. It's a beautiful, beautiful energy. <clears throat> so advice from spirit you know I've got the queen of cups here which is a card of cancer I'm just going to pull a couple of extra cards for these let's just pull where's my deck I'm going to pull I'm going to use the tarot grand lux can we get a card, please? An extra clarifier for the Queen of Cups and the King of Wands for Aries. Thank you. In the advice from spirit section. 1st to the 7th of June, 2020, please. Can we get an extra card each? King of Wands. So let's start with the Queen of Cups first. Queen of Cups, please. Page of Wands again. Nice. And the King of Wands. You have the Page of Cups. You know, the Page of Cups is an intuitive energy. It is also, um, for me, it can be about a positive approach to a situation. You know, the Page of Cups is just such a fun-loving, young, innocent energy. Um, the pages are, are very young in, in outlook. They're generally apprentices or the beginnings of a new project or the beginnings of change and um, but this is about allowing yourself to look on the bright side as well it can be about um, trusting your intuition as well and it is to do with taking the lead in your own life you know the king of wands is an energy if somebody who has drive who sits on their throne they're in full command of their life their world and um, their energy, 
because they're just go-getting, they're not defeatist. They're somebody who allows their passions to drive them and reach new heights. So this is about being the opportunist. This is about a go-getting energy. This is about taking action um, and very much just allowing new growth, new opportunity to come into your life. Now, I will say this can be, I mean, as well as this card, these cards here, Spirit is saying that there could be an opportunity coming your way that brings you joy um, and that brings you in at the beginnings of something new or the beginnings of change. There could be a Leo, there could be a Cancer here, or somebody who embodies both of those signs that could be offering you something. It's almost kind of like you're being told there is good news coming your way here with the Page of Wands. And I feel it's to do with this opportunity. Now the Queen of Wands, sorry, Queen of Cups can be to do with love. I'm not feeling that as much. I'm feeling that whatever this opportunity is, it brings you joy. It brings you happiness, you know, because we have such a happy energy with the Sun card right next to this card. I just feel this is the beginnings of new growth, the beginnings, a new beginning, a new opportunity coming your way. Could be in terms of business and career. Could also be where you've been waiting for some good news in terms of health. Now that won't be for everybody, but there could be some good news coming your way that just brings you happiness and joy. Um, so I'm kind of feeling that quite strongly for some of you because we have two page of wands, which is all about good news. And I feel it comes after maybe going through a difficult time in terms of finances or health. I will say health as well. Um, or one might have led to the other. You know, sometimes when we find it difficult to work because of our health, you know, that's where we can struggle with our money as well. So it might well be that that's affecting you as well. The key thing here is, I do feel that, I mean, the Four of, of Pentacles has a number of meanings. Sometimes it can mean about holding on, don't hold on to something to the point where it stops you from moving forward. You know, this is about your challenges to put something behind you and keep putting the effort in to put something behind you now. Um, but I also feel, you know, where there's been instability with your health or your financial situation, and your career, um, there is, you have everything that you need to restabilize your life in terms of skills, practical skills, knowledge, experience. So when I'm seeing this, the page of wands, it is just use your practical skills, knowledge, experience. Um, this is about focus, the, the pentacles energy. It's also for me very much linked to the law of attraction. And we do have two cards of karma here, the two justices here, reap what you sow. So it's almost kind of like where you may have experienced lack here, Aries, and felt that quite strongly, don't let that dominate your thought process. You know, this is about conquering your internal negativity as much as it is about doing the work to overcome any challenge in your external environment. It is about focusing, and I do feel, to bring greater stability in your financial outcome and your health. Um, it is about focusing on what is important to you now, because the page of wands can be good news is coming, but you need to keep on working hard. You need to keep on putting the effort. You are absolutely going in the right direction. You are absolutely being guided. You are absolutely being told to listen to your intuition, certainly this week. Because again, we've got Spirit is saying good news is coming, the Page of Wands. Page of Wands again at the end of the reading, the outcome. Even though you have been through a difficult time, don't let the negativity own you because that will just keep you stuck in the instability. It is about doing the practical things that you need to do now to bring stability into your life and focusing on that. And then I just feel that when you do, there is an element that good news is coming your way. Because I do feel you have been in limbo. You might have felt in a bit of limbo, Aries. You may have felt that things weren't moving. You're putting effort in and things weren't moving at all. You know, you might have felt stuck for a period of time because that can be the hangman energy. Now, that could be in terms of your health or your career, your money. This hangman puts himself upside down from the tree of knowledge to gain new wisdom a new level of wisdom and um, to see direction, to get glimpses of the direction that he needs to follow. 
and this is the divine giving him enlightenment and it is about looking at things from a different perspective it is about using the time of reflection of quietness or a feeling in limbo to really see where you need to focus your effort and action now because when you do there is definitely a new opportunity a new path a new direction some new news maybe that comes from the actions that you take that's in line with that hanged man energy the hanged man is a card of alignment it aligns you to the path that you need to be on now the sun which is lighting the path before you um, I feel centered with the sun. It's a restorative energy of getting back on track in terms of your health. We have some good news coming your way. It can be, like I said, in terms of your money and career as well. And I do feel some of you, it might well be looking at things in a different way to bring stability, security back into your life that you might have felt that you lost from whatever injustice happened in your life. And getting back on track but I do feel there is some illumination some answers that you're finding this week now the hangman says you might need to be patient good news is coming you're going in the direction the challenge is you need to stick at it because you will claim your victory and success but it is a kind of message here Aries that there needs to be a level of patience with the hanged man and you need to not necessarily look at things that you always have looked at open your mind open your world to new opportunity to new avenues that you wouldn't have considered before because that's what the hanged man asks you to do is out with the old in with a new way of thinking um, and that's how you find the way forward but i love this energy of you are going to claim a justice you are going to claim the victory karma is on your side here you have to really believe that things can improve and put your efforts in the right area to make that happen So for some of you, there could be some good news coming your way. It might be after a period of having waited a while. Final card for Aries, please. Thank you. We have the cat, speak your truth. Ha, <laughs> you know, strength I feel as well. Um, have strength, yeah, faith and conviction in your voice, it has never been more needed, you know, and we, you know, we are in the season of Gemini, so it is all about how we express ourselves, and crane, surrender, let go of limiting beliefs, be as expansive in your thoughts as your soul is, absolutely, and that's what the hanged man is trying to teach you. So there you go, Aries. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.